Hello, my name is Jennifer Hancock, and I'm a scouting volunteer in the United States. I currently serve as a council and unit volunteer, as well as the national program chair for the Boy Scouts of America. Please allow me to express my deepest gratitude for the honor and privilege of addressing you here today. It is in fact a distinct honor because like so many others, there have been countless challenges standing between where I was as a young woman and the circumstances that have led me to be here today. Many of the struggles that I have faced in my life are no different than those that you or others have faced, but I can assure you that in many ways they are very different from the struggles that young people are facing today. No matter what the difficulties are, the ability to overcome those hardships through resilience is such an important skill that can be developed in children over time. I faced hurdles as a young person who came from a broken family. Economic and mental stressors led our family down a path of hardships, and at times we found ourselves without a home. As a teenager, I faced a difficult choice to leave school and begin to work full time to try to pull out of this cycle. I did this for a period of time, but eventually I encountered a woman who took the time to be an advisor to me. No matter how busy she was, she was always there to encourage me. Because of this incredible person, I felt the strength to persevere. I eventually went back to school and then on to law school. It wasn't easy and sometimes I failed. But because of her servant leadership, I was able to complete my educational goals and become a child advocate where I have represented hundreds of children and families in the legal system. I chose to repay the kindness that she has shown me by becoming a volunteer for scouting, a program who helps instill the most important skill of resilience during difficult times. Of course, these challenges pale in comparison to the many problems that young people in the world are facing today, especially these last 18 months. So many have been isolated from their families and their friends, and they have faced economic and educational difficulties that seemed insurmountable. But even so, they have persevered to serve others in this difficult time, showing a resilience that will be the hallmark of their generation. This year, we have seen scouts provide homemade medical equipment to frontline workers. They collected food for the hungry. They reached out to provide services to those who are medically fragile and could not leave their homes. Scouts made it possible with their ingenuity to create safe spaces for families to see each other. They built desks and provided school supplies for children who needed to learn from home. They built outdoor spaces for learning and religious services for their communities. The list, it just goes on and on. Each incredible idea designed by youth to give back to their communities and to the world. In addition, children, young adults, and volunteers from around the world have had their lives disrupted with heartbreaking losses of family members, like our family, homes, jobs, and friends. The resilience that scouting develops in millions of young people has to help them weather this terrifying time. As a volunteer, I have seen so much hope. Messages and stories from youth and volunteers of how scouting helped them through such times when they felt such despair. One young woman, a recent member of Scouts BSA, recounts that she battled depression for years as a young person until she became a young leader in scouting. She writes, people wonder why I love scouting so much. I love scouting because it gave me my life back. I have gained family, friends, and purpose. The girls in my troop tell me how inspirational I am. I am working hard to help myself and others, and I am not doing this alone. I have my scouting family. This is just one of many stories of how scouting has brought children and young people together. Scouting teaches us all how to pick ourselves up and try again. I have worked with many youth in both my profession and in my work as a scouting volunteer. I am a personal witness to how scouting can improve the lives of children and young people. Scouting has been an important part of our family and has helped our children overcome obstacles of their own. And for these many reasons, 
we have chosen to donate our time and resources to this organization because we truly believe in its most important mission. Now, 2020 notwithstanding, I still believe that we are truly fortunate to be alive in this moment in history. As I speak to you now, countless young men and women find themselves steadfastly engaged in the seemingly ceaseless endeavors of saving lives, working towards lasting peace, and advancing the causes of justice and science throughout the world. Irrespective of the physical, mental, and emotional stresses that surround them, these young people work to better our communities. This is awe-inspiring to me and leads me to believe that if humanity is ever to realize its truest potential, we need more young people like this. More young people of courage and of resilience. And as of yet, no movement better instills this so necessary virtue of unwavering resilience in the face of overwhelming obstacles than scouting. It is their purpose to create a better world. Let it be our purpose to support them and the movement that gives them the tools necessary to do so. Together with our support and their resilience, we can be the change we all wish to see in the world.